Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elise Parker and I share videos about personal growth and self-awareness and healing and conscious living. So if you're into any of those things, go ahead and click the subscribe button, turn on the bell, that way you get notified when I share future videos and you don't miss anything. In this video, we are going to be talking about making big life decisions. Do I stay or do I go? Do I stay in the current career that I'm in, the current job that I'm in, or do I go and find a new one? Do I start my own business? And if so, what does that look like? Do I stay in this relationship that I'm in or do I leave? Or are there really big changes that need to be made? Do I stay where I'm currently living or am I going to move somewhere entirely new? Do I do this or do I not? Do I stay or do I go? This is what we're gonna be exploring today and this is one of the biggest themes that showed up at my most recent retreat here on the big island of Hawaii just a couple of weeks ago, the majority of the women who attended came in with this pressing question of do I stay or do I go in various different areas of their life, mostly in career and in relationships. There is also a sense of urgency and pressure to figure this out, like to make the decision and to make it fast. And maybe this has been weighing on you for quite some time if you have a decision in your own life that you feel like you need to make right now. And the invitation here, instead of going the path of leaning in and trying to make it, trying to make the decision, actually leaning back and prioritizing nervous system regulation first and foremost. So actually being able to unwind from that urgency and unwind from this process where it feels like you're untying a yarn ball in your brain, trying to like go down these different paths of what if I do this and what if I do that and making a pros and cons list and asking people that you know what you should do and journaling about it and like, man, that's a lot of mental energy and output. And sometimes it just feels like the decision-making process is getting harder and harder when you go at it that way. The invitation is to actually take a step back and allow yourself to unwind from all of that efforting, from all of that struggle, and reprioritize your own basic needs. Not just by implementing nervous system regulation practices, but actually by leaning into the aspects of your life that feel the most safe and secure and grounding. So the reality is, you may be in a job or in a relationship or in some sort of a situation where there's parts of that environment that don't feel safe, that don't feel secure. And that can kind of perpetuate the struggle of trying to figure out what to do when you're not even on stable ground of feeling safe and secure within yourself and where you are. So that's the first priority here. We need to give ourselves that environment, whatever that looks like. Maybe that means going to a specific spot in your town or a specific room in your home that you do feel the most sense of security and maybe privacy, being in your own energy. Giving yourself permission to hit pause on the decision-making process and bring all of your focus and all of your attention back to you for a little while. Like, more than just a 10 minute meditation, more than just a day, more than just a weekend. Like we're not doing the regulation and coming back home to ourselves or to a grounded place so that we can figure it out from a better place. We actually need to release that attachment altogether, release the like gripping on needing to know right now. Like put that to rest just for a little bit. And trust me on this one, there's some real magic that happens when we release our grip on that. And it's easier said than done too. If this is the way that we've been making decisions for our entire life, like it is not the easiest thing, but it, it requires a conscious choice to take a step back and to prioritize our needs, to prioritize our safety, to do some regulation practices, to do some breathing, to do some grounding to do a guided meditation, to get into the places that feel safe and nurturing for us, to 
eat nourishing foods to move our body to make sure we're hydrated to get enough sleep like really leaning into those basics here so that we can be resourced to make a decision that's coming from the true us our true self from an aligned place from a steady place from a secure place, from a grounded place, not from like frantically, I just need to figure this out. When we notice that type of energy, it's like, hey, I know that's trying to protect me. I know that's trying to get me to a better place, but it's actually less about making the decision now to get to a better place later. And it's actually about supporting ourselves so that we can be in a better place now. And then from that place, usually there is an inner knowing that comes through. There's a gut feeling, there's an intuition that's just doubtless. It just is. There's no amount of strategizing, pros and cons list, figuring it out that can change that inner knowing of, I know exactly what I need to do. I know exactly what I need to do in the situation. I know that I need to go. Or maybe it's, I know that I need to go but I'm not sure the details of what that looks like. I'm not sure the details of when. And in that situation, can you be okay with sitting with the not knowing? Can you be okay with this being a season of your life? Maybe it's a week, maybe it's a month, maybe it's a year. Can you be okay with this being a season of your life where you have a gut feeling, you have a knowing that there is change coming, that something is going to shift, that you're not going to be at this job forever, that you're not going to be in this relationship forever, that you're not going to be where you're living forever or whatever the big life decision is. Can you be okay with knowing that, yeah, you are being called into something different. You are being called to leave. You are being called to transition and it may not be right now. And can you be okay with holding that where you are now and knowing that something is going to change? Can it be okay that it's not immediate and you don't have to rush yourself out of where you are into this other place? Because the reality is sometimes we can get a pulse on that, like how the seasons change. We can, we can feel that something is coming, that something is changing but it may not be something that we need to force or that we need to pressurize. And then in other cases, it might be. It may be a clear knowing of like, yeah, this is it, this is over and this needs to change now and that's where I'm at. And so if you are in that place where you have that clear knowing, then the question for you to get curious about is, well, what's my natural next step? What are three steps that I know that I need to take in order to move through with that, in order to make that transition happen. What are the first three things that you already know? You don't need to go into planning mode and like get out your pen and paper and figure out like, okay, now how am I gonna do this? Like, no, 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 quiet the noise, silence the noise, and come back to what you already know within you of what is that next step? And then what is that next step after that? And you may not have the whole pathway illuminated start to finish all the way through, but you may know that very next step. And can you be okay with knowing that step and being right there, being in the intimacy of that action? This is a new way of making big life decisions. So if you are currently in a position where you have been pondering on do I stay or do I go, or what is this big decision? And if it has felt very black or white, like there's literally this option. I just, I stay in my current role or I don't. I stay in this current relationship or I don't. If it has been feeling like there's literally just two options, that's intense. That's intense. Notice how that feels in your body as I speak to this. There's literally just two options. The invitation is to widen your view and see actually, there's kind of infinite possibilities and in how I can navigate this right now. There's so much nuance and detail and different ways I can go about this. And instead of trying to force myself into this one or this one, I'm going to hit pause. I'm, I'm, I'm picturing the that was easy button. Like I'm going to hit the pause button and I'm going to go care for myself and I'm going to go regulate and I'm going to go lay on the earth and I'm going to go ground and I'm going to nourish myself and I'm going to come back home to me and I'm gonna let this come from a different place. 
At my most recent retreat, almost all of the women came in with this situation of feeling the urgency and the pressure to make a decision in their relationships or their career or both, which is a lot of pressure. And by the end of the retreat, all of them had a deep knowing of what needs to happen through coming back home to themselves. And for some of them, that was a, I know that something needs to shift and I know that it needs to shift now. And I know that these are my next steps to take towards that. So like basically going right back home and doing that. And for others, it was a knowing that, yes, this career is no longer for me. And I don't know what is in this moment, but I know that there's going to be a shift. I know that I'm not going to be there forever. And now that I know that, and I've confronted that and really seen that and accepted that and acknowledged that within myself, there's a natural level of excitement that they had. And there was a trust in the timing, a trust in the process, a trust in themselves that they're going to be okay if they don't make that change immediately. Even though they know that it's coming, they're going to be okay and they're excited to now dedicate more time towards exploring what are their passions outside of this career? What are they interested in? What are their strong suits? What do they feel called to step into? And they're excited to allow that to be a beautiful unfolding, not this pressurized, it has to be a certain way, it has to be known and uh, taken action on right now. Sometimes it is that way, but sometimes it's not. And only you will know for yourself from within. And the same thing goes for when we're in a relationship, when we're feeling like there's literally only these two options. Do I stay or do I go? And I feel like I need to make this decision now or my attachment system is literally gonna explode. And there's like deep, deep hurt and intensity within our survival system there. And to put all this simply, if you are not feeling relaxed, grounded, and like there is a doubtless knowing of we are meant to stick this out right now. I don't know about the future, but right now I know that we're meant to be in this together. And I know that this is an opportunity for growth and here's where I get to work on myself and here's what we're stepping into together. And if that's a doubtless knowing, then that's your answer. But if you're coming from this frantic place, that's not where we make aligned decisions from. That's where we react from. And so if you have been in a position where you're trying to make a decision in your life, my greatest hope is that this video has been supportive for you in some way and you received your own special golden nugget from it. Um, this is a topic that I'm very passionate about because life is so different when we're making decisions from these different places. My greatest hope is that you can weave a reality that is so authentic to you and so true for you. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it was, if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share any comments on what were the most supportive parts for you and what resonated the most. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye bye.